<clears throat> hey, what is up YouTube? This is Mike uh, coming to you from Samurai Geek Designs. Uh, it's about 7 o'clock in the evening already on a Friday. We've had a really long day. In fact, we've had a really long week. And uh, I'm ready to call it quits for today. But first, we are going to do a video. And um, I'm going to just... Uh, it's another little bench update. There's no real specific uh, topic that I'm going to talk about except for uh, touching a base on a few of these. Uh, namely, this A-Wing right here that I've been working on. This is uh, not done yet. I'm still adding some uh, some color on here, adding a few uh, touches here and there. Uh, but this is where I'm at on this guy. I still need to put another layer in there. But... Um, this is the first of second A-Wings that I'm going to be working on and I've got plans for this A-Wing that A-Wing, right? Yeah, that A-Wing and they're both going to be on a base wall mounted base, excuse me flying around that and uh, what that is going to be, that's going to be a static explosion and I've uh, got a really cool technique that I've learned from a couple of friends that I'm going to try out so um, more on this one later uh, as soon as I get some progress done uh, but that goes off right now. I've also got, oh, excuse me, the first of two sea views. Uh, this is the 1350 scale model kit from Mobius. I think this is originally a, a ooh. I think this is originally a an Aurora kit. Not sure, but uh, absolutely no interior whatsoever to speak of. So I painted the back side of those uh, of the window. I still have a few touch-ups to put on this one, but uh, let me just give you a straight. I modeled, or I kind of did a, a very uneven finish here on the uh, C view. I don't know if you can see that, but um, I've never painted a submarine. But uh, you know, I, I'm just going for a slightly weathered look for this one, not too over the top. I know the the uh, the studio model didn't have too much going on but uh that's where i'm at on this guy i have a i have to it's my wife excuse me i have to uh, paint the lights here and there but um uh, as far as this one is uh, concerned it's just about done uh now on to this right here no actually this goes gets out of the way but this is the immediate stack of models that i'm going to be working on in the next couple of weeks uh flying sub and this second sea view these go to the same gentleman and I'll be building these back to back uh, I have there's an interior here for this one that is made out of paper but once the model kit is together I'm not sure how visible it's going to be uh, also have the second a wing that will be built I also have a Thunderbird 2 that was donated by Randy uh, owner of uh, these two kits right here that will be added to our uh, our stash here uh, that's going to go into the display case, but that is Thunderbird 2, a 1350 scale model kit. Also on, uh, see what I can get down here. The race is on for a 1 250 scale, I'm sorry, 1 2500 scale uh, set of uh, Enterprise kits. That's going to go from the uh, NX-01 all the way up to the Enterprise E, sorry. And uh, that's going to be, a, it's actually going to be a pretty pricey kit. I'm pricing it at about 350 bucks. Uh, like I said, there's going to be a war going on for it pretty soon because I've got a gentleman who was originally interested in that and uh, hasn't made a down payment yet, but I have another gentleman from Louisiana who is very interested also. So there is a race for August 1st. And uh, whoever makes a down payment gets a Legacy Series uh, of uh, enterprise kit so again including that little tiny nx01 right there uh so i guess that's it right now haven't made any progress on boba fett outside of the helmet and uh the tunic underneath uh it's been kind of crazy here regardless i have a few projects that were uh, going on here as far as graphic design the other part of our business but uh that is uh, i'm just about cleared up on some of those so i can get back on this 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 guy is um this is going to be a repaint uh for another gentleman who came in uh today we just got it so 
that's coming up uh, also the projects that have gone out and I never got any good pictures of it the Cylon Raider is gone the Colonial Viper from Battlestar Galactica that is gone the giant biker scout that was bloody and looked like the last survivor he is out the door uh, also a Hasbro uh, three and three quarter inch uh, figure sized uh, snow speeder went out the door a micro machines uh, <laughs> Snow speeder went out the door and an old MPC refurbished B-Wing went out the door as well. So uh, I do have some work ahead of me to fill up my case again. Uh, I'm still missing, I still have a big spot right here where that 350 NX-01 was. But uh, I have a few projects that will be filling up the display case again. Namely some of the projects here. But guys, I guess that is it for now. I've rambled on long enough and I'm going to wrap it up. Again, you guys have fun. Let's see what else I have here. There's a small update on R2 over here. Um, I'm gonna probably repaint that because that looks a little too dark in comparison to what is on the dome. And uh, another repaint. And still have to finish my own uh, Millennium Falcon. But anyway, guys, that is it for today. You guys have fun. Take care. Peace and out.